So we recently hit 100 subscribers on my channel and honestly I want to thank you so much guys for the support that you have given me throughout the whole of this period. Reaching 100 subscribers isn't easy because the first subscribers that you get in your channel are even more harder than those people who have 1000 plus subscribers. So it really means a lot when people subscribe to channels that are below, let's say 100 subscribers, for example, right now, we are right at 100 subscribers. So thank you so much for the support, guys. It really means a lot to me. I really put a lot of effort in making my videos. So I'm happy that you guys are watching my content, that you're liking my content, that most of you are subscribing. It really means a lot to me. So Max Electronics has come from far. I remember the first video that he posted on YouTube was back in 2016 and uh, that was the review of the MacBook Pro 13 inch. I like the fact that it got so many views very quick right now as he speaks at 2000 views. So that's a good response. And then I had the Galaxy S4 review which I made. It was one of the first videos I made using the camera that you are seeing right here. At that time, I didn't have experience, so making videos was quite hard, but now I'm getting used to it. So as you grow, you get to know many skills in video editing. I never knew that I'll be editing videos at this point. So as you grow, you get more experience. And that way, you get to know every flaws that you've made in your video, and by doing so, you get to correct these flows so that you can have perfect videos that you are seeing right now i'm not sure whether it's perfect it's you guys to say whether it's perfect yeah but at least we have improved the way we record our videos it's all about learning learning your mistakes and improving your mistakes that's one thing that will take you to greater heights so i started doing my videos uh with voice over i remember most of my videos in the past did not have any voice so it was hard for the viewers to get some experience or to get some knowledge about the devices but uh, one tech blogger just commented on my video and he said you have to include some voiceover in the video so that people can have an idea of how the product is can have an idea of uh, some of the opinions about the gadgets that i'm reviewing on my channel so i started doing that i remember the video i made it was jbl review jbl flip 3 review i remember the voice was really bad <laughs> the voice was really bad i recorded it using my laptop so it was pretty poor but uh, at least it conveyed some information and uh, at least many people are happy that I'm now doing voiceovers in my videos. And then came the other videos which I made. I tried modifying the sound using the video editing software uh, to kind of add some bass and also to remove that background noise. But then it did some good justice, but it was not the way I wanted. So at least we still coped with it. But uh, yeah, audio is improving day by day pronunciation is also improving day by day so that's one thing you have to keep in mind so i remember back in 2016 i used to edit using windows Me what i used to edit using windows movie maker that was the software i started to edit with and it was relatively simple very simple just joining clips just a text and there you go so after that, I went to Wondershare Filmora. I think Wondershare Filmora had so many options and uh, I really liked that software. I think it had more options for me 
to work on as compared to Movie Maker, which has very limited effects, let me not lie. Then I upgraded to Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro gives you so much flexibility when making your videos. You can do so much things, especially with the keyframes, and uh, that's what makes this video appealing. It's good to work with keyframes because that way you have so much flexibility when you make some effects in your videos. So I think that's what has perfected the quality of my video. Getting to learn new softwares, getting to implement them, getting to know how to record uh, new recording techniques that you might have probably seen. And also just getting that interest and uh, getting that urge to do videos on the channel. So I'll advise for those who are talented and you want to start a YouTube channel, you should definitely start. Don't hesitate, just start. You may start with a few subscribers, even now I'm coping out with a few subscribers. Some are at 1 million, so yeah, I know there's a long way to go, but yeah, that's it. So I just wanted to talk to you guys. Thank you so much subscribers for watching my video and also those who have not subscribed, you should definitely subscribe right now. Thank you so much for watching my content. Thank you so much for staying up to date in my content. The advice I'll give you, please explore your talent, love what you're doing, like what you're doing, do anything for your talent. Remember, it's a God-given talent, utilize it to your fullest. Yeah, so keep up to my channel for more tech reviews. Hopefully we get some more tech to review. As of late, it has been really tricky uh, to review tech, but uh, yeah. Stay tuned to my channel, probably you might see some goodies in this channel, you never know. But anyways, thank you so much for subscribing and also thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I've been your host, Maxwell.